Florence, a city that attracts so many visitors on an annual basis. Of course, there are many who come here for the football. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere really building up nicely, we should be in for a terrific contest. It's Fiorentina against Sevilla. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. And a look at the lineup for Fiorentina. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated, and it could be difficult for them. Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? Oh, what a clearance under pressure! Had to react and did. Sumare. And they need to get tighter. And this is how Sevilla will line up. Jesus Navas plays with Marcos Acuna in the wide defensive areas. Suso starts with Lucas Ocampos in the wide positions. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Crossing possibilities. Makes the move to the inside. Blocking it. Marcos Acuna. A deft clearance. Cristiano Biraghi deserves credit for winning the ball back. Marcos Acuna. So. Incisive pass. Sumare. Happy to shoot. Stopped a certain goal. Very quick thinking there. Velocity. Rolando Mandragora. In possession, Velocity. Feeding it through. And defending as a unit. Suso just cutting off the supply Loic Bade Gibril So Suso has it Poor pass under no real pressure. Velocity. Here's Marcos Acuna. Options in the centre. Is it going to be? And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. And there it is, the half-time whistle. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, he certainly had an impact on that first half, scoring that late goal, but I thought his overall contribution was really good, and he got better as the half wore on.
Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. And Fiorentina regaining possession. Bonaventura. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Bonaventura. Oh, that's splendid play. Will it be? Superb stop. Loic Bade. Ramos. Marcos Acuna. Attenzione il Bubakari Sumare. Here's Marcos Acuna. Moving into the advanced position. Grazie. And passing it through. So, he has time to play it over. Sumare. And here's Suso. Really fine piece of defending play to break it up. Ranieri. Mandragora. Wasteful from Fiorentina. Plenty of support here. 15 minutes left for play. Bonaventura. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. No space for them here. The cross is on. Off the post and back in play. Well, defensive resilience there. Well, there's still scope for late drama here. Five minutes left and just one goal between the sides. Well, time is of some concern. Can they level matters? But the danger averted for now. Suso. And Nesiri. So one minute of stoppage time, that's what the officials have said. Navas, teammates in the middle, and he struck the post. Well, no damage done. And there goes the final whistle. It's gone the wrong way as far as the home fans are concerned. Well, Derek, certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little bit off the pace for me, and obviously a disappointing result. But the key thing is, they bounce back now, and they can't afford a repeat performance. Well, you know, when our colleagues in the newspapers come out with their grades for this match, he's going to get very high marks. Well, he was excellent today, and he gave them that all-important lead. They just struggled to cope with him. His movement was so clever.